Hi, I'm Vicki Guckenberger. I'm the Associate Dean for Nursing and Health Sciences here at the College of DuPage. We're a large community college located about 30 miles from Chicago. We're housed in the Health Sciences Center of the College of DuPage, which hosts all of the science programs and the health programs that the college offers. We, the nursing program, are primarily on the second floor of the facility, which opened four years ago. We have a, an associate degree nursing program, a practical nursing program, and a certified nursing assistant program. All together, we serve about 700 students a year. We have retrofitted two former lab spaces into simulated learning centers. One houses a four bedroom hospital, and the other is a mixture of a home health and long term care facility, trying to emulate the opportunity for students to see and care for in a simulated setting patients across the healthcare continuum. Several years ago, despite the newness of this building, it became apparent that creating simulated learning environments were important for our students to optimize their learning and the students to have the opportunity to do things that perhaps they were getting less than ideal opportunities to do in the clinical setting. With the promotion of patient safety and the electronic medical records, having access to doing critical skills and using knowledge associated with those skills was becoming more difficult. For example, we were having limited opportunities to do electronic medical record sharding, as well as the, the dis dispensing of medications using the electronic medication dispensing systems that hospitals and long-term care facilities use today. With that, when we decided to do these simulation learning spaces, we wanted to create the environment where students could do those things in a safer environment, to have their skills thoughtfully evaluated, and for faculty to have a more consistent and persistent way of evaluating students' competencies. The PIXIS system was selected because of its prevalence in the clinical practice settings in the Glen Allen area and the Metro Chicago area. So it was a wonderful tool for us to be able to access to, to both provide the learning experiences for the students as well as to realistically provide them with what they might see in the clinical setting when they get their first jobs as a registered nurse. The opportunity to get the PIXIS system specifically was real, relatively painless. Medical Shipment is the exclusive distributor of the PIXIS system and, and while I have to approve those purchases in the, per, in the purchasing process and because of the value of this particular item, the PIXIS unit itself, it did have to go through the process of board approval as well, but the daily operational use of it has been very free of any problems or concerns. Our lab assistant staff who really work the closest with our distributor has had wonderful things to say about medical shipments. When it comes to the Pixis here, as a SimTech, my role was primarily, well, the major role was to set it up. When I first got my hands on it, I was a little, a little overwhelmed. I didn't really know where to start, but because the two-day in-service was provided by CareFusion, they really knew the product inside and out and were really able to, to answer all our questions. There's two components. There's the actual Pixis, where the medications are, and then there's a the, uh, server that you can customize your patients and medications. And that's primarily where I spent most of my time was on the server. It takes minutes to uh, update medications, patients, once you really, really understand the system. We had some patients that we have used in the past and we are currently using, so I took their medications uh, that we were using for them and programmed them into the machine and that was a lot easier than I thought. Go over to the machine. The students have a different login than the the Simtex. We enter in our username and then all the staff we use our finger to log in and then when we're refilling a medication we'll just click on refill and I'll type in carboprost click on refill selections the drawer opens up it's telling me that I need to put it in pocket 15 so I'll look up pocket 15 It'll tell me the beginning count is one, so I'll verify that there's already one carboprost in there, and then I'm going to refill it with one, put it back in, accept, 
and the drawer closes. If you're just entering one medication, then that's that. But if I'm entering in multiple medications, do the same thing where type in what I'm looking for, and then I can also type in another one so I can highlight multiple. That way when I go to refill selections, it'll go down the list of what I entered.